Welcome to the latest version of our newsletter discussing recent developments in the area of SRNED tax credits. My name is David Sabina. As the author of this letter, I welcome your input and feedback. We will begin by examining three recent SRNED cases published by the Tax Court of Canada. The first case, CalAMP, deals with employee bonuses. During the year, the company CalAMP paid bonuses to employees of a company named Old Data Radio which it had previously acquired. The court evidence revealed that these bonuses were paid on the basis of two factors. A. That employees of the acquired company should share in the success resulting from the sale of this company and B. Creating conditions which would favor the retention of these employees. The key issue was whether the company is entitled to SRD tax credits in respect of these bonuses. The Income Tax Act requires the proportion of these wages claimed to, quote, relate to such work having regard to the time spent by the employee thereon, end quote. As a result, the judge concluded there was no reasonable link or nexus between the payments and the SRNED work. In the author's opinion, this underlines the importance of documenting how any bonuses relate to the SRNED work. Additional pitfalls to consider in employee remuneration of this sort are the use of royalties or commissions, which would also be excluded from SRNED claims. The next case examines issues of CCPC status and control. As a public corporation, Lurtec restructured its business in order to transfer its R&D activities to a new corporation named Lurtec R&D Inc. and thereby qualify for enhanced tax credits. The majority of voting shares for Lurtec R&D Inc. were held in a trust. The trustees also controlled Lurtec. The public company Lurtec determined what research to conduct, owned the intellectual property, and paid only a royalty on resulting sales. The key issue is whether the appellant, Lurtec R&D, was a Canadian-controlled private corporation as defined under the Income Tax Act. This requires it to be, quote, a private Canadian corporation other than a a corporation controlled directly or indirectly in any manner whatever by one or more non-resident persons public corporations or any combination of them end quote taking all these facts into consideration the judge concluded that Lurtec exercised dominant economic influence over the appellant Lurtec R&D in the author's opinion, the concept of a separate company to perform the SRD was clever. However, the necessary structuring and financing steps were not followed. In the case of Immuno Vaccine, the company received a repayable loan from a federal agency named the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, or ACOA, in order to perform SRD work. The issue is whether the loan was government assistance as defined under the Income Tax Act. This includes, quote, assistance from a government, municipality, or other public authority, whether as a grant, subsidy, or forgivable loan, end quote. As a result, the judge concluded that the amount was government assistance and would be claimable if and when repaid to the government. Though the claimant lost this case, in the author's opinion, there are still significant opportunities to structure government contracts so that the payments do not meet the CRA's four key indicators of government assistance. 